Yo, what's up guys? It's our man 4 am again back with a new video. Again with a face cam. It's been a while, but I really wanted to do this because boy oh boy, this weekend so many games got announced and one of those is Minecraft Legends. A strategy game coming up for the Minecraft universe in 2023 and boy oh boy, am I excited to talk about this one because honestly, I have no clue what to think of it just yet. Of course, as huge strategy fan, uh, I think it's going to be interesting to analyze the gameplay mechanics, what we can expect of it next year, and what this could also mean for the future of both Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, as this is definitely a new breath into the Minecraft universe. And um, yeah, let's just get right to it, because there is so much to talk about. We're going to analyze the gameplay announcement, we're going to talk about the post which they made already, the Twitter account, etc. So let's get right to it. All right, so first off, we have the announcement video, which they posted yesterday. This one basically announces Minecraft Legends for 2023. And right here, we can already start analyzing what we can expect of the gameplay mechanics. So right here, we see the overworld and um, there is a nether portal popping up with many piglings, hoglings jumping out of it. So they're basically going to attempt to conquer the overworld. I mean, there is a horde of enemies coming through and um, the lava is spreading. The villagers are running away. So uh, they're definitely getting scared for this piglin invasion. But then on the other side of the map, we have a portal popping up with the player and it's calling the help of all the creatures of the overworld to the zombies, to the creepers, to the skeletons. They're all running to the nether portal, charging to it pretty much to defend this place. So this is essentially what you can expect of the game. You as player are to defend the overworld against the creatures of the nether, let's say. Without doubt, there are gonna be some epic challenges, especially towards the late game. But let's check out some of the gameplay because the first thing that caught my eye wasn't very positive. I mean, if we have a look at the graphics right here, guys, this definitely doesn't look like a game that is going to be released in 2023. Sorry, but I am not a fan of the shell shaded uh, graphics. So basically all the black lines you see around uh, the objects, the character, also the structure in the back, which reminds me of an ocean temple. But um, if we zoom in a little bit on this one, I mean, even though it is pre-released gameplay, I think the graphics look pretty bad. I mean, if you compare this with Minecraft Dungeons, built on Unreal Engine. I personally am a huge fan of those graphics. While with this, a game that's gonna be released in 2023. And of course, we don't know for sure if this is gonna be the actual graphics, but um, we already do know that it's gonna be multi-platform. So that's something we're gonna talk about in a second. We don't only wanna talk about the graphics because the gameplay itself, of course, is the most important factor in every single game. So right here, we see a castle popping up in a huge overall, let's say, so the player is basically building a fort right here with the help of wisps or vexes. And um, I think this looks pretty interesting, but at the same time, if it's gonna be multi-platform, I'm not really sure if you're gonna have to do a lot of building yourself. They wanna make this a strategy game, so it's not gonna be a sandbox game. I think there's gonna be less creativity involved, but um, by the design of this, it already looks pretty nice. And also the environment, guys. I am a pretty big fan of uh, the biome, let's say. The world looks pretty bland. We do have a little turtle on the right side. That one does look pretty cool with the shell shading, with the black lines around it. So right here with the player rallying in a jungle biome with a flag, it looks like we have some mini abominations. Look like little stone golems. Remind me a little bit of Geodude, Graveler and Golem from Pokemon, but uh, it's just holding the flag with these circles. I think you do this to recruit allies to pretty much defend certain areas in the world. And then in the next shot, you can basically see that the player is pushing through these hordes of enemies with the little golems we just talked about. And they also drop lapis lazuli or another type of resource which you possibly need to further uh, customize your character, make it more powerful. Or it could also be a resource which you need to build these forts, let's say. As inside we can also see these little blue ghosts or spectral mobs, they might need this resource. But in the variant we see the player pushing, let's say, to the core of the stronghold of the piglins. So, there you have it, Minecraft Legends, coming to us in 2023, a new action strategy game. And if we pause on this screen, guys, you can see that it will be released on Xbox Game Pass, on Xbox, Windows, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, and also on Steam. 
something which we haven't seen before on previous releases. Of course, Minecraft Dungeons is also multi-platform and even cross-play right now, but this one instantly will pop up on many different platforms. And I don't see mobile right here, but that is something which we're gonna talk about right now. So we didn't see a lot of gameplay in this announcement video, which I think is pretty unfortunate, so we don't have a lot to talk about, but the base or core mechanics of the game are pretty clear as we're gonna have to reclaim the overworld, drive back the hordes of piglins, let's say, which try to take it from us. So we're gonna have to unite the overworld, discover the mysteries of the Minecraft legends, a new action strategy game, lead your allies in heroic battles to defend the overworld from the destructive piglins. Right here you can sign up to get the latest news from Minecraft Legends. Definitely make sure to do that if you want to stay in loop with updates. But um, then we have the trailer. Once again, it's in the description, so make sure to check it out. Gather your strength. Uh, piglings have arrived and they are threatening to corrupt the overworld. But then guys, at the end of the page, we also have this screen. And right here, we don't only see a monitor or TV, a laptop, but also a tablet and a phone. So this basically means it's not only going to be released on Xbox, PlayStation and Steam and Windows Store, of course, but um, we can also expect it to become mobile, something which we haven't seen. I mean, Minecraft Dungeons can be played multi-platform finally as well, even with cross-play, but this one might actually release on all different platforms, so this is gonna be a huge project, guys. They without doubt have many people working on this one. So uh, we've got some wallpaper, some more news. Let's uh, read this bad boy right now. So right here we have a little post written by Christina Anderka, published uh, yesterday. So uh, starting today, we want to tell you another story about a peaceful coexistence where adventurers did not get chills when hearing hisses. Boy, oh boy, finally, you don't have to worry about the creepers. But um, this is a story about the overworld for Minecraft Legends. So for the gameplay, Minecraft Legends is a unique action strategy game. It has strategy elements at its core, but its mechanics are inspired by the immersion of action games. But um, you get to explore the familiar yet in many ways new overworld in a third person perspective. Just like we saw with Minecraft Dungeons, I think it looks pretty cool. So if we have a look at the screenshots right here, on the first one we have, of course, the character on horseback uh, with the, the ocean temple in the background. Well, if we go to the next one, we see the player slashing with the sword in these horse of piglins with uh, also these ally golems. And then on the final one with the flag rallying allies. So um, I think all this looks pretty cool, but still I think they have to work a little bit on the environment. It looks pretty empty. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. But then for the making of, when Legends was just still an idea, we knew our hands were already pretty full with our two existing games, Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons. So indeed, as you can see, we just got a new update for Minecraft. Minecraft 1.19 just got released, which um, got many people hyped. I mean, you can finally play the wild with uh, uh, the warden. And I know many of you guys are also pretty excited about season three for the SMP, which is gonna have 1.19 as well. By the way, if you wanna know more about it in the Discord. But then they also talk about Minecraft dungeons. And unfortunately, I didn't see any news popping up regarding Minecraft dungeons in the past days, weeks, like a big new update that we can expect popping up soon. So um, I sincerely hope they are gonna continue developing this one because they say they have their hands pretty full. And just what I talked about a couple minutes ago, this is not just a small game. It's gonna be a huge project. It's gonna be released on all different platforms possible, even on mobile. So I sincerely hope they will have enough time the workforce, let's say, to continue working properly on both Minecraft and Minecraft Dungeons, especially Minecraft Dungeons, because I didn't feel good leaving that game, uh, something I dedicated so much time to, so many people who joined the channel because of it, and right now it just feels like it's kind of left on the side, more focused on monetization, not really on new endgame content, let's say. Because Minecraft Legends needs the proper experience and focus to really shine, we decided to partner with Blackbird Interactive, a Vancouver-based studio that is working with us to bring the game to life. Guys, this is a really good thing. So they're not using all their own workforce, let's say, to work on this project, but instead they're working with another company that already has experience in this field to make it the best possible game. So that is already really good news 
To be honest, I didn't hear of Blackbird Interactive just yet, so I just googled them and uh, found their latest RTS project, which is basically Crossfire Legion on Steam. When I googled this one, mm, I don't know. So uh, this is space, something entirely different in comparison with uh, what the Minecraft Legends project is gonna be like. And the reviews aren't very positive, but if we look at their latest release, Heartspace Shipbreaker, this one actually has very positive reviews. I mean, look at this guys, 88% as well as 82% released 24th of May, so that was pretty recent. Even though this has nothing to do with real-time strategy or strategy games in general, also feels quite different as space game to the Minecraft universe, but um, I'm just very curious how they're gonna pull this off. Who knows, it's gonna be an epic game. Anyways, that is pretty much all the information for today. The team is very excited to share this new experience with you guys very soon. So I think you should definitely check out the at Legends game because this is the official link to their Twitter page where you will without doubt find more information, more teasers about the game in the coming weeks and months. So you have more information about it, which we're going to cover on this channel for sure. But um, what are your thoughts about the game? Is Minecraft Legends going to be something for you? Let me know in the comments down below. I personally don't know yet what to think of this game as from the looks of it right now, it does look very early stage and um, the gameplay doesn't look very complicated. The mounted combat was very simple. And uh, of course, we can only confirm these things if we look at the fact that it's going to be released on all the different platforms, including mobile. So the controls, the mechanics have to be very accessible and simple. Also because it's a Minecraft game, guys. They want to make it accessible for young and old. But I want to know what your thoughts are about it. Let me know in the comments down below if this is going to be something for you. Anyways, right now it is 4am out. A big thanks for watching. Big thanks for sticking till the end. If you enjoyed watching this one, make sure to hit that like button. And of course, subscribe for future updates. Guys, have an awesome day. I'll see you next time. Peace.